everyone. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the Etruscans. Uh, so here we go. Okay, so uh, we were talking in the uh, pages where we're talking about the Etruscans, these kind of mystery people from the antique world. Not exactly sure where they come from. Um, some DNA analysis of cattle, interestingly enough, uh, that have been uh, in the region uh, for thousands of years suggest that they were indeed uh, of Eastern origin. Uh, we saw their extraordinary metalwork. Um, now that object, that beautiful fibula uh, that um, I showed you in the page was found at one of these um, elaborate tomb sites, which are really the kind of hallmark of the Etruscans. Now I'm showing you an aerial view of perhaps the largest of the necropolis or that city of the dead of the Etruscans at Severteri. Um, and as you can see, those mounded forms. Now, Etruscan cemeteries took the form of mounds or tumulus. The plural of it is tumuli. Um, these burial mounds uh, were underground tombs with mounds um, kind of dug out from the tufa stone and then um, dirt heaped up on top of them. So I don't want you to confuse them with the tholos, right, that we learned about from uh, the Mycenaeans, which were actually uh, stone courses, right, cantilevered inward in that corbel vaulting technique to create those kind of extraordinary honeycomb-like uh, tombs. Uh, the tumulus at the Etruscan necropolis were um, basically um, stone were carved, but out of the existing stone uh, that were there. So there, there is a difference um, uh, between these two, although they, they tend to look alike uh, in the um, uh, photographs. Now these uh, tumuli uh, could be quite large. Uh, let's go back for a second. I want to show you, um, whoops. Um, you know, these entire cities that were created with the literally uh, pathways, those dromos or like paths or streets that you could kind of move around uh, with within uh, the cemetery complex. And the mounds themselves, you can see some, right, are larger than others. Um, the largest ones were about 130 feet tall. Uh, so the size of several story high buildings. Now the Etruscans are quite different from the Greeks uh, in this emphasis in uh, funerary structures. Uh, the Greeks didn't really have elaborate tombs like we see here. It's, it's kind of a different cultural emphasis. Um, they were much more focused on the, the living of life uh, rather than on uh, funerary uh, rites. Now, this we know this became more and more of interest to the Etruscans over time, particularly as this, um, this culture became wealthier and wealthier, um, till the point where in the third century, basically uh, towards really the end um, of the Etruscan kind of reign, uh, the wealthiest of the Etruscans are going to have kind of extraordinary tomb sites. And in many cases, these were better than houses with these huge spacious chambers um, that I'm showing you here. And these became um, elaborately uh, decorated with wall frescoes. There was furniture uh, in these tombs as well. Um, most of the tombs, um, like the Egyptian tombs, unfortunately have been plundered, right? So we don't have the full scope of what was there, but some are in fairly good um, state of repair. Now, as you can see, as we look here inside of this interior, that there were actually beds cut out of the limestone rock. These would be places where tombs, um, or sarcophagi, uh, would actually be put into place. And then we can see this kind of uh, kind of bench form in the center there. Uh, this uh, were places where people could actually gather within the tomb environment. And they have found stools, drinking cups, pitchers, you know, objects that one would think about as having a domestic context uh, within these uh, tomb sites. 
not quite sure what the idea here is, if this was like the Egyptians, a death or a journey to the after place, afterlife or a dwelling place for uh, the dead. Uh, we are not sure. Uh, we do know that these interiors were brightly painted. And um, I want to show you here, perhaps the most famous of these is uh, the tomb of the leopards. Um, and you can see just how magnificent uh, this banqueting scene uh, with these um, brightly uh, painted figures appears.